أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another episode talking about the Quran with friends where we talk about how we can practically implement the teachings of the Quran and how we can improve this relationship of the Quran in our day to day lives rather than just leaving it for the mosque or for other such events أحسنت Unfortunately, there are a group of people who the Prophet complains about on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. He tells Allah, Ya Rabbi, inna qawmi attakhadu hadha al-Qur'ana mahjura. That, oh Allah, my people have taken this Qur'an as mahjura. They've abandoned it, they've forsaken it. Mahjura comes from the word hijr. They've done hijr with this Qur'an. Yet they've gone so far away from it, they're not coming back. And we need to ensure that we are not of those people on the day of uh, Qiyamah that the Prophet is complaining about. And one thing to bear in mind is that there are different levels of uh, Mahjura. That doesn't mean just because uh, I'm, I'm reciting the Quran every day, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing Mahjura of the Quran. If I'm reciting the Quran but not taking what uh, meanings from the Quran and lessons from the Quran, then that is one form of Mahjur as well. So we need to make sure that we are implementing and taking the Quran in our day-to-day -day lives as much as we can. So the recitation element of it, the stories element of it, the how, how we can improve ourselves, how we can get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are all things that we need to take from the Quran. Ahsan. And there's a lot that we will take without even realizing. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاعٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ So this Qur'an which has been sent down is not just a mercy but it's a shafa'ah for you and I. Inshallah we are among the mu'mineen. Sure. But Allah is telling us that there's so much that we, we can gain but we just don't see it. Doesn't mean we're not gaining from it. Ahsantum. So it is really important to, uh, for, for us to realize that the Qur'an is not just a book. It's not just a uh, normal book to be read or to be just recite it and leave it to the side. We need to remember that whose words are these? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words. And how we, a lot of times we will think about if, if only I had the Prophet in front of me or if only I had uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I could hear his conversations. Well, <laughs> good news, <laughs> it's in our hands. All we have to do is open the Quran, read it, internalize it, take lessons from it. These are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words. Ahsan, ahsan. And there's so many beautiful ahadith even about how to ensure that we implement this into our lives. But before we get to those, let's discuss some practical tips as to how we can ensure that this Quran becomes our heart and soul and every day we refer to as Imam, as Imam, as Imran Ali said, Kalamullah, the book of Allah, the word of Allah, it's with us, it's the closest thing to God. Why are we not taking heed of it? So what sort of tips could we go through? Mark? So just the way we have our day, daily planners and we have our non-negotiables every day. So for, for some of us maybe gym every day or for some of us uh, uh, running or others reading a few pages or listening to podcasts. This needs to be the first thing that we have in our non-negotiables. Reciting the Quran or, or reading a story from the Quran or taking a lesson from the Quran or even just appreciating the nuances in the and the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed the Arabic, uh, the, the words. So that should definitely be part of our non-negotiables every single day. Ahsan. And uh, so ensuring that we recite the Quran, right? But even just looking a bit more intricately, even if just it's one verse a day, mm -hmm. but reading the meaning and ensuring that we understand what Allah is telling us. And it's being spoon-fed to us. There are apps now that we have on our phones which will just send you one verse a day and a notification will come up, verse of the day. It's there. All we have to do is spend five minutes to read it and trying to think, what does Allah want from us here? Any, any, uh, any advice on how to go about that? Ah, so there are quite a few apps around. So there's a, an app called Quran Hadi where not only does it send a notification every single day to remind you guys to recite or, or sit, it just gives that verse straight up there. But also there's so many cool features about it. So you have, it's like a mushaf, so you can re read the page uh, from top to bottom. But also you can write notes, you can get translation of it, but even better you can get tafsir in your fingertips. So all you have to do is highlight that verse, click on tafsir, 
and it's just there rather than you having to google it or open some some books it's literally just there and for those that want to go into more detail or are fluent with arabic or farsi you have arabic versions of the app and farsi versions of the app which have al mizan and other such huge tafasir ahsan so there's so much we can do it's all ready for us all we need to do is apply a bit more of our uh, attention to us the quran there are amazing stories in here that we don't realize allah has made this like a story book because from these stories there's morals for us to take sometimes we end up telling the stories of musa and nuh and adam and ibrahim alayhim assalam to our kids without realizing allah is talking to us you know imam ali would say that he would read through history as if he was part of that walking with them that's how it should be these prophets were giants and allah is giving us examples in show we don't become like the people who they were sent to Ahsan. who then perished we need to make sure we take lessons from them and implement them in our life santum and i read somewhere that uh, a great personality would interact with the quran and we've been encouraged to interact with the quran so whenever we come across verses about heaven we stop think about it and also pray to allah ya allah please make us of the people of heaven similarly if come across the verses of hell stop think about it make sure we're not doing those things that will lead us to hell and pray to allah ya allah please stop us from the hell fire so every verse that we come across so every set of verses every lesson that we can take from that make sure you stopping and internalizing and thinking about it but also having that connection with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you can ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those uh, closer to him other stuff other stuff for memorizers for example there's a beautiful app called tartil.ai where if you download it 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 it's actually art using artificial intelligence to listen to your recitation and tell you where you're making a mistake or what you've forgotten that's for the memorizers as well ahsant and also ensuring that this is a book that we can spend time with the family discussing morals from here discussing what allah wants from us discussing how to implement this you know uh, imam ali ali sam says ana quranun natiq right so these infallibles were the walking and talking quran as those from the school of jafari as shias of amir mu'minin sometimes uh, i feel we pay great attention to them which we should do but we should pay the exact same attention to this holy book and we don't if they paid attention to it why is it that we are putting it on the back burner or we're putting it secondary no it should be exactly hand in hand with the ahlul bayt as we know the two weighty things that are going to join the prophet on kawthar is the ahlul bayt and this holy quran so we have to make sure that it's a family thing as well santum and ultimately something to think about is that they were living by the guidance and the lessons from the quran so why not pay give quran that uh, respect and that ele- uh, level that it that it uh, requires the other thing was that you know a lot of times with our family with our kids when we're thinking about their future and growing up we think about which school that they want to go through the journey that they have to go through every day okay they come back from school we need to make sure that we do the homework with them we make sure that they they've done the necessary extracurricular activities and stuff and then if we have some time okay we'll recite some quran or we'll go through a story but we all know and now with the series inshallah it's a reminder for us and for for all of you that the importance of the quran comes above everything so rather than having it as a stop gap thing make it number one they come back from school or we come back from work okay we relax freshen up and then before homework or before uh, our extracurricular activities spend some time with the quran and recite it and take lessons and and discuss the quran ahsan ahsan Rasulullah says in aradtum aishu as-su'da if you want to live a happy blissful life wa maut ash-shuhada and you want to die the death at the rank of a martyr wan najat yawm al-hasra and you want salvation on the day when people will be lost wa dhil yawm al-harur and you want shade on the day which will be scorching hot wal huda yawm al-dhalala and you want guidance on the day when people will be lost Rasulullah says fadrusu al-Qur'an not read study this quran why fa innahu kalam ar rahman because it is it is the word of ar rahman the most merciful wa hirzum min ash shaytan and it is that shield against shaytan for you and i wa rajahan fil mizan and it is that thing that will tip the scales on yawm al qiyamah in our favor 
it's there. We just need to pick it up and start using it. So beautiful. And we're told, right, when we recite the Quran, uh, we pick up the Quran from, from our youth. And when, we, when we're young, it mixes with our flesh and blood and Absolutely. becomes part of us. So why not start young? Don't never underestimate the, the, uh, the potential of our youngsters and ourselves as well. We can become half father of the Quran from a very young age. We can, it can be part of our flesh and blood and our life throughout. And, inshallah. Ahsan. and with that, inshallah, we leave you with these few tips. Inshallah, we can become the people of the Quran that the Prophet is proud of, not the ones who he complains about. Ameen, ameen, ya Allah, inshallah. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون